Welcome everyone! We are the Grin Brothers and we found Diamond! Yeah. Except that's lithium, but you know. Shale crops can spawn in here, which give us a chance to get Diamond. Uh, oh, they don't stack. Uh, I don't think. Well, we'll grab one more lithium. So, really you know what? I'll eat some food first. Remember, the old stuff decreases your hydration. So, probably worth just dropping it. No, because then I can drink some water too. Well, so it's my turn. Oh yeah, it's your turn. Yeah, okay. So we got, we we came here to so wait for the um, wait for the what you call it the um, ship to come pick us up. But we figured we might as well get some diamonds on the way. We may have to make the laser cutter then. Why not did the guide you look up not say about you know diamonds being here? Remember, we don't have too much inventory space. I know. And it'd be best save it for the diamond or uh, potentially what else we might get from as we leave. You say we don't have much inventory space. We're pretty all right, given that like we've got yeah. Yeah. resources we're going to be using up. Yeah. Oh, uh, the shell up there. Is that shell? Yes. Yeah. Just lithium. Gold. Well, okay, no point picking up any lithium then in case if we get can potentially get from here, you know, from the shower crop. Is that a diamond? Yeah, diamond. <clears throat> diamond! Now, let's try and get out of the cave. Oh, yeah. I uploaded um, all the Nanka Pokemon Miiverse Adventure artworks separately yes. now. Uh, but annoyingly enough, like the plan was that I'd upload them all separately, and then I'd actually um, replace the stash-based uh, artwork inclusions of my old chapters with the uploaded versions. Mm -mm. I can do that, except I don't understand how to, because when I clicked the edit button, what it then came up with was a bunch of brackets and codes. Yes. Like, rather than the regular edit screen before, it was instead edit, like, bracket, center align, bracket, stuff like that, that I just can't wrap my head around. Yes. It sounds about right. So I have no idea how I'd be able to inc easily include the artwork sort of thing. And unlike many other people who, you know, use sites like this, I don't like just, like, deleting the old chapter because then I'd lose all the comments on it. Yeah. I, it's again why I don't understand people who delete the old artwork sort of thing. You know, you lose all the comments that people have made oh. on it, and it kind of messes up all the people who favorited your artwork and such. Or, in my case, chapter uploads. So I still have to have all these artworks. I'm going to try these less impressive artworks, actually, because I ended up in fixing some of the mistakes I made on them with these uh, older variants. Uh, you know, I'm still going to have to keep the older variants on the stash and as part of the chapter upload. Well, we know when we get there, it might actually say, "Oh, we got here early. Speed up." I doubt it. But there is only one way to find out. I'm also gonna. I want to see if I can. Does that count as planting it? Who knows? Who knows? Google. Google knows. <clears throat> Knife one of the two moons. <laughs> well, I guess we're just here now. You said we could just read through notes. Yeah, I feel like that makes sense. And you know, to be fair, there's a lot of lore that people here might not have you know heard about as a result. And if we start starving, there's trees to okay. eat. A land-based fungus with harvestable spores. Inedible. Inedible. Okay, and you pick some of those up. So if we need to throw something away, that's a choice. A brittle land plant containing large spores which generate a characteristic rattle when the plant is digging. This may act to ward off predators or even encourage predators. Oh, thanks. Exploitable. Th that's, this that's, is the important that's, that's part. Just, that's, just Dupi that's just Dupida's Pokedex entry. It'll wrap a Pokemon in a bubble to protect it. It'll wrap a Pokemon in order to drown and eat it. Okay, so it's poisonous to insects, but we can drink. So I eat, drink it. Mm. Gel sack. You think they'd be more populated if you know? Grown cave walls, jelly spores, edible, also used to make aerogel, which yeah. sounds useful, more useful than eating. The sulfur plant, we know what that is. 
hoop fish. Yeah, I caught one of those. They're yeah, funny oh, little fella. Oh, the antennas loop around. Mm. That's why it's a hoop fish. So, you know, that would explain why it doesn't actually give much meat, because it's actually a lot smaller than it looks. Basically, we can eat it. That's kind of a... Oh, fish. Oh, it looks like an insect more than a fish. Uh, fountain kelp environment. We can eat it. Hideous. Spade fish. Just hideous. Edible. Um, yeah, that's just the fish stuff. Um, any of the more lore focused stuff here? Well, that's like... Uh, you know, shorten down some of We these. only have the reef back leviathans. And what? you seem quite happy about that. Tell me about the sea. Useless. Oh, no, it's wet. Useless. Can you imagine Useless. if your character sort of comes back and like, hey, can you tell us all about the wildlife? Uh, uh, what was it like on the other planet? It was wet. You know, just, just really Fauna, simple answers. Carnivores. Biters. Vicious packing predator. 94% muscle, 4% connective tissue, 2% brain. Indiscriminate when hungry. Almost always hungry. Hey, don't describe me. Avoid packs. Try not to bleed. Good. Crash fish. Explode. We... Oh, you use a stasis or a repulsion rifle, mm. which we don't have. Sand uh, shark. Ugly. Avoid. Cool. Stalker. Damn. They're not really that big of an issue, really. Oh, you can feed them. Oh. To distract them. They're attracted to titanium as well, mm. which is why they play with metal. Assessment. Stalker teeth may have applications in enamelled gla uh, enameled glass fabrication. Oh, so maybe you can loot from them. Geological data. Category, Category 3, three ocean, ocean planet. planet. Oxygen, nitrogen, atmosphere. Extensive biodiversity. Safety warnings. May support Leviathan class predators. Does support. Water contaminated with high levels of foreign bacteria. We know. Power is beyond Federation space. Rescue unlikely. We know. Sandstone. We should probably scan the shale. Oh, yeah. Codes and clues. No, I was too busy collecting them. Mm. Insect background. Of, of, duh. This is the research facility. Function, live specimen study. Synthesis of antidote for highly infectious bacterium designated. God! Um, sanctuary A, data corrupted. Sanctuary B, data corrupted. Offsite laboratory, data corrupted. Inside an extensive rupture in an area of intense Died of hypothermia. Activity. Hypothermia. Hypothermia. <laughs> um... In the event of an outbreak, quarantine procedures will be automatically enforced with immediate effect. The quarantine enforcement platform will target all incoming and outgoing craft to prevent the spread of infection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before uh, they lost communications, Altera HQ uploaded a set of blueprints to the Aurora's main computer. Is a, there is a high security terminal inside the captain's bay located behind the prawn bay from which the blueprint should be accessible. The code is 2679. Aurora survivors. Ozzy's log. It's the day of the crash. I don't know what the heck is happening. I'm scared. I'm not going outside. There are shadows in the water under the hatch, but I can't tell if rocks or aliens, and there's weird-looking caves nearby. The aura was everything, carrying everything needed to build the phase gate, mobile vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons. It is a cinema. There was a zero-g uh, gym, my cafe. I don't understand how we're in here. I don't know why no one's coming for me. Unidentified crew one. You think you'll carry two of us? Unidentified crew two. Your regular sea glide tows a mass of eight kilograms at over 30 km. Um, the power cell I rigged to this one should double that. You think there's something out there faster? Oh, sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the light pod. Uh, you calm about this? I'm seeing this engine, uh, the engineering problem. If I stop seeing maps, I'll be terrified. Respectful. It's kind of weird. How are we the survivors? We're not very good. We really are not. Uh, energy core, force field control terminal, ion cubes. The uh, green mineral, uh, something each cube contains the equivalent the of The only thing five that. The TNT. first thing I read was equivalent energy of 5 kilotons of TNT. Yeah. We're carrying bombs. Cubic appearance system has been cut from a larger deposit. Likely uses batteries, which requires a substantial power source to be recharged. This carbon based device is lighter than it looks and features a symbol which resembles a U lit up in purple. Despite the onboard power still functioning, algae growth on the exterior indicates it was abandoned hundreds, perhaps thousands of years ago. While the technology is far beyond Federation levels and there is no obvious way to interface with it, it should nonetheless be possible to fabricate a precise physical copy of the device, if necessary. Here's the enzyme host, Peeper. Okay, a Peeper specimen was observing a faint fluorescent enzyme trail and engaging in unusual behavioural patterns. Peeper is actively approaching other creatures, including predators. 
The specimen is host to a bacterial infection. However, the infection is currently dormant. People's stomach cavity contains an unknown enzyme of foreign origin. Oh, so it was a good thing I captured it. To, I mean, to be fair, it just, regular, it just got eaten regularly. Chemical analysis of enzyme. Bears some superficial similarity. To Basically, it's carrying a disease. Larger predators. Hold on. I didn't read all that. Assessment recommend further research into enzyme origin. But it didn't give me an option. It just told me eat it. Propulsion cannon, which we need, which we can get later. Oh, yeah. We can find the Cyclops parts around here. Yeah. Scanner room. Brings... Oh, yeah. We have, like, the ability to build, like, a lot of stuff. Hmm. Wall mounted camera fuselage and scanning drone. Uh, yeah, it does stuff. Bioreactor. I don't know if we can build it, but you. The bioreactor, totally organic. Any habitat room, chemical and post organic material, converting them into energy over and vehicles, time. I'm that's mainly going to talk about the Oh, you, okay, so that's why you want to grow some of those useless plants, because well. you can use it as fuel for this. And you can use eggs. Mm. And that's the Cyclops. The Cyclops is the most popular and reliable deep sea submersible in the galaxy. By comparison to the competition, it can be crewed by just one pilot, hence the name. Basically, it's good. Uh, high speed draws attention. Weird that we only ever got two emergency messages from other crew members. And the Seamoth is the other one that we're close to building, which is more... It's basically a smaller version of the Cyclops. Mm. Oh, two minutes oh. to go. And then we get off this island. And man, I can't believe we're about to complete the game already. Yeah, you want to eat something? And, oh, some water too. Oh, they give you plus ten for the water as well. They're really good. Yes. Massive though, apparently for seeds. Yeah, well, I mean... Kind of weird how, weird how um, much stone things take up. We might as well get... Are we on the exact spot? I am basically at the exact spot. Yeah. Just want to be sure. You know, maybe reach somewhere high up so they can see us. Wave your arms about. This is where it tells me to stand. Right here. Okay. Here. So I guess look up at the sky. We still have like a minute and 20 seconds. That's okay. Look up the sky for a minute and 27 seconds. You said I... Like, we've spent 12 minutes doing, like... Actually, we to we, be fair, I only hit recording now because we found diamonds, and that was kind of something we'd been after for the first episode. That's true. For like off screen, we're probably just gonna raid that entire cave if mm. we can. Like, yeah, but we kind of showing it to show. Also, I thought it was a good idea to go through the notes because we kind of been mentioning that, and you know, the, the alien stuff was kind of interesting. Look. I suggested going through the notes. Yeah, I mean, you suggested going through the notes, but you know, I suggested recording the notes. The um a lot of it. Free diamonds, gold... And, but normally it doesn't matter salt. now. We've completed the game in 44 seconds. Come on, up we, up we go. Look up. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to... You are... That's normal. We're free! Run! Oh, oh no, that's, that's a bird. A bird. <laughs> uh, maybe from the moon? And that's a moon. Yeah, yeah. So look at to the moon. That's probably the best, most likely place for it to go. No, not really. Yeah, you know, fly That's around. not how... Oh, I hear it. Keep spinning. That's that. No, no, I'm sure it isn't. Oh. No, it's definitely a laser rifle. Oh. Oh, where? So I guess look at the building. Broken atmosphere, and we're descending towards the landing site. Is that a building down there? It's that. What do you mean That's the ship. Ah, well, I'm glad that we're finally getting out. Why is it flying directly down? Surely you notice the building retracted like that. It's a bit suspicious. Change course. I'm sure I'll push that ship will be strong enough to survive. But I bet the ship just disintegrated. Curse you! We could have completed this game! Do you know how funny it would be if we died because a bit of metal just came down and <laughs> smashed us in the head? Well, on the plus side, we may have scrap now.
Was it? Why wasn't our ship blown to bits like that? Our ship was significantly bigger. I think their ship had like a crew of size of six. Ah. Uh. So, um, so I'm gonna say the priority is. I guess eat. Oh, I thought we were gonna look for the cyclops part around here. Because uh, now we're going to... Uh, I mean, we might as well check, or, you know, kind of run over to where the stuff is going to land. Well, over there is, like... Oh, it looks like it was closer than it actually is. Yeah, it's, like, off the map. They say you can't find the wreckage. No offence, why ship. didn't they sort of kind of, like, start moving away when that ship start, uh, building started pointing towards them? Because I definitely were that... That clearly looked like a gun at that point. Yes. But that would have made sense. Mm. What's that? Oh, it's one of the samples I threw on the floor. Okay. How does that take up four slots of inventory? <laughs> right, so deep. Should we go for diamond or swim around here? Mm, well, we've already got quite. A, we've already got like three bits of diamond. Might as well swim around here for a bit. See if we... Yeah, but we need more than three bits of diamond. Yeah, we can. We we know where the diamond is now. We might as well. Search around here, see if we can find that cyclop, uh, the remaining cyclop thing, because then we can see what we need for the cyclops. Yeah, well, the cyclops is like, I can't imagine we'll have stuff to build at any time soon. Yeah, but it's good to know what we need. Oh, hey, there's that mushroom sample. Well, it's still going. Spiders. Yeah. So, that's pretty deep. Yeah. A for effort. Unfortunately, I'm probably gonna have to say a F for the rescue. Uh, for the rescue, it uh, didn't succeed very well, as in not at all. Do we even give them an A for effort? Because they didn't even try to dodge that. Uh, effort for trying to save us. They were so willing to save us that they didn't dodge. Like, how does that? Uh, yeah, I guess that ranks it as a B. The question is. Like, they noticed that building. Admittedly, they noticed it late. How did the Aurora, a military-grade ship, not notice it? Eh. Like, we're a government official ship. They're not. So what we've gathered is that apparently this is a small aquatic planet with a very advanced species who used to live on it. Yes, and they died because of... Bacteria. And yet, there's a lot of sea life which is still alive. Yes. So unless they reckon the... Like, you know, unless they reckon this human life was... Their life was very similar to a lot of other, you know, life forms out there. The only thing we know is they're humanoid. I'd assume, though, primarily, they'd be aquatic of some kind, given how much water there is. You'd think they'd have adapted to it. Oh, that's just scrap metal, isn't it? Yeah. Salt. Yeah, that salt's handy. Don't really need sandstone at the moment. Like sandstone's useful, it can get us silver. But we're not hugely in mm. need of it. This I think is uh one of the kelp forest biomes. Interesting. I say one of, because I think there's like two of, yeah, at least two of a lot of the biomes. They also, like, the map is surprisingly small. It doesn't feel that way. It takes quite a while to get from A to B. Well, I guess to be fair, a lot of it is depth rather mm. than, like, size. Yeah. Because there's a lot of, like, internal caves and stuff like that. But, like, I find that stuff way less interesting to explore. Yeah. Personally. An egg. Do not pick up the egg. I did not pick up the egg. I know mean, how sensitive you are about <laughs> us having eggs. <laughs> oh, you decided to go back here. I thought we were looking for the Cyclops bits. I was looking around. Yeah, I thought um, around the island where we found two of the Cyclops bits. So just well, you, well, you found one. I don't know where we found the other. Around near the island before. But did we? Yes. Oh, we need that. Hey, buddy. I don't want one of those three, though. Huh. There you go, some food. It already started to go away, but a good attempt. 
Hmm. Feels like we, uh... Can't see. We got off torch. There we go. We can see the monster. Do you mind, buddy? Woo! <laughs> um... Let's see... Something to talk about... Oh, well, pretty much at the end of the episode, so there's I'm not really sure. much to talk about. Oh, maybe we could find the other bit around here. I remember we already went around here before. Oh. I was about to say, could you fit in there? Yes. Okay, then we'll look and see about you fitting in there first before we end the episode. Yeah. Uh, could probably do with just having a rebreather mm. for this, but... Eh, uh, we're here at the moment. Might as well. Do, 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 do. We're, like, we're terrible at finding our way back to places, so we might as well check it out. Whilst... I actually know where this is. And heck, you don't even need air now. What do you mean? Oh, oh, you thought you were no longer in water. Disinfected water. Propulsion cannon fragment. Is that the last one we needed? Yeah! Man, this ship seems fair even worse than ours, and ours blew up. That doesn't that seems safe. safe. I think we need a propulsion cannon for that. Oh. Oh, why is it me, but the music seemed to get creepier? It definitely became creepier. Bench! Well. Well, still door oh, cut need... access, okay. And then that, I think we need to blow that out the way, maybe. Yeah. Which you know what that means. <laughs> Another item that requires... Oh, battery charger fragment. Batteries. We really need to just start building up batteries. Picture frame. That's going to be helpful for our oh-so-roomy uh, space pod. It kind of feels like there's supposed to be a leviathan just like swims past you whilst you're looking out there. I feel that as well, and I'm glad that they're risen. Okay, well on that happy note, we'll end the episode. Yes, bye. Cheerio! Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I'm probably going to look at some of the stuff that we've obtained whilst we get back, and then we'll record when we figure out what the hell we're doing with our lives, which is probably making a propulsion cannon, mm. and whatever else we need a diamond for. Oh, whoa, is that what... It's the, no, it's the Morrowind boy. Yeah. Okay. Cheerio. <laughs> Bye.